and I work in oil paint and I also do drawings. I'm sort of investigating personal history and stories and sort of making them into almost myths. I'm really interested in um, kind of moments that you have in your memories but you can't quite pinpoint it and especially in this instance um, encounters between sort of people and animals and how strange they can be sometimes. I'm Michael Davis. As you can see, I do large drawings, kind of collage, um, as well as large printmaking. I do smaller types of printmaking as well. And the other side is I work in film. Um, I make props for my films as well. I also kind of like to make small loops of film, which kind of have a surreal or uh, bizarre element to them. But mainly, I would say my practice is about narrative in film often quite disturbing. Yeah, I try to I try to make them beautiful through making them uh, dreamlike. I like to do films that are not strictly linear narrative, but um, not completely art house films, so they kind of have to straddle that line. My name is Norman Buchan. I'm from London. I lived in Ireland as well. I work with like, found objects and bought objects that are made of just one material, really simple aesthetically, They're based on repetition, so lots in this case. I think it's probably 1400 cocktail sticks in here so far. So sort I've of used balloons and bricks and sheets of glass and cocktail sticks and pint glasses and things like that. Things that are really simple aesthetically, which are mostly sculpture until this point. My name is Abby Albert and I'm a painter and a maker. Um, my paintings focus on colour and all of my paintings and prints are about people in places. So um, wherever I am, I'm getting inspiration through photography and drawings. My sketchbooks are a hugely valuable part of my work. Constantly sketching and then transforming that into paintings and prints. I have paintings where I focus more on line and then I have paintings where I focus more on the richer, brushy qualities of the paint. Um, and one of the problems that I'm trying to overcome is how to combine those. Another element of my work is doing people from life, so just having my friends and my family to come and sit for me. And through that I can experiment with different colour combinations, um, the vividness of colour, trying out more line elements, and just capturing people unaware. They're quite fast, small paintings, and I enjoy that fact. Hi, my name is Rhys Balfour, and I'm originally from Stockport in Greater Manchester. I make charcoal drawings. My drawings are of dead bodies, be them animal or human. And it's mainly kind of looking at the body as an object and how it can be manipulated. Once I've got all the drawings completed, I think the most fun part for me is kind of um, exploring the different possibilities of presentation. I'll be displaying like a large floor piece where many of these images all come together and tessellate and create something like larger than the sum of its parts. My name is Liz Donaldson, I come from Devon, just near Exeter. I do oil paints, quite big canvases, really colourful, um, quite vibrant, some quite busy, some quite quiet. Uh, most of them stem from sort of interest in neuroscience and psychology, so there's a lot of brain related theories that are behind them. And processes and mental processing. Um, they're quite abstract but they're quite kind of human in where they come from, their inspiration is. My name is Michael Dryden and uh, I come from New Jersey originally, in the Channel Islands. Uh, I'm a sculptor, I do mostly 3D stuff and um, I wouldn't really say I, I um, specialise in any particular material. Um, I've been doing a lot of woodwork recently and uh, a lot of welding and casting, so things are pretty broad. I think we're living in an age at the moment where people are kind of encountering uh, objects through uh, images of them, and often those images have been repeated quite a lot. I'm just sort of interested in like when we come back to the real world after um, existing online and um, what changes there are um, specifically in how we view art. My name is John. I'm originally from Sheffield. The majority of my work has been influenced uh, by the figure and particularly figure to sculpture itself. Um, but at the moment it's moved towards um, the plinth and particularly the, the plinth 
that supports a public monument and that as a sort of archetypal form and that as a, a barrier and as an object. I'm Hayley Jones and I come from Glastonbury in Somerset. I draw uh, printmaking processes and recently uh, more sculptural processes to sort of aid um, like ideas in drawing, surreal architecture, um, things that buildings and structures that kind of um, look like they should fall over and shouldn't exist in reality. I've been looking more at Gaudi, which is kind of been uh, feeding my drawings and my prints, and also um, Hundred Vassa with a quirky kind of style. My name is Sophie Ingram, and I'm originally from Totnes in Devon. I use a lot of paint, but I wouldn't say I was like a painter exactly. I kind of choose objects because it's kind of like the challenge. I'll make an arrangement of paintings for the object, the dialogue between them. And um, I guess that's partly because I, I feel kind of uneasy about being a painter. So my paintings are quite decorative and they kind of vary from purely abstract to suggestive of landscape or things, but mainly it's juxtapositions like colours and patterns. I'm Ellie Lola, I'm from Guernsey in the Channel Islands. I make films. I'm interested in narrative films and how people are naturally attracted to putting their own narrative on something and I like to get narratives from researching into local history. I'm interested in memory and landscape and the idea that a place can retain memories and history and therefore the effect that history can have on the individual. I'm interested in using a lot of transparent qualities in my work like mist, um, veils and white noise to kind of reflect the mysterious and ghost-like narratives that I'm looking at. I'm Becky Lewis and I'm from Newport South Wales. My work generally consists of collage and drawing and printmaking. Collage is the main foundation to my whole working process. Obviously we live in a very um, visually rich culture and there's a lot to play around with. Um, I can deconstruct images and create new narratives and meaning through that. And generally old imagery, but I like to play around with both old and modern. I use the collages to build up my line of print. I prefer working on a larger scale because there's more to play around with. I'm Rhys Partridge and I'm from a town in Herefordshire called Rossonway. Mostly I work with oil paints but recently I've been using a mixed medium with um, acrylic and dragged pigment, so we're talking acrylic. Mostly I'm inspired by um, like semiotics and the function of words and text and numbers within painting. To think about my work in terms of being an object like a book cover or a playing card or a map and um, the lines in the work sort of function like, um, like you're reading a book, so when you read a book you're reading from left to right and that is what the lines represent and then I can use that sort of secret writing to pick out words to display them. I'm Ed Sanders from Derbyshire originally. Um, my work in minute is mainly like print and sound based stuff. Mainly inspired by like um, the local landscapes of the area, depends on where I'm at at a particular point in time how well image and sound react to each other, how like you can create different emotions through combining different mediums, right?